Hello there kitties, I'm Curry, the vacuum tube witch. Got something different than a vacuum tube. It's a DJ mixer that I've got from the old times, from uh, from 2000. Needs to modify it, it's gonna be a quick and dirty holiday project. Because what I have to do on this one is uh, changing the power cable. Because I need a um, Shuko or Unishuko on uh, on the cable. This is the old uh, Polish and French style uh, cable. And what I need it's uh, it's the uh, Unishuko that works with uh, with Polish sockets, but also uh, with a uh, Shuko only power strip. So, let's get to the bench and uh, swap the power cable on this one. So, first part, getting into the mixer. Just a bunch of screws. This is just a cheap uh, DJ mixer that I bought uh, back in 2000 uh, on, on an electronics flea market. And I use it uh, as uh, a main preamp for my secondary hi-fi system. It, uh, it has uh, four inputs and uh, it went through a bunch of modifications uh, like uh, switchable uh, preamps uh, so that I can choose between phono and uh, line inputs. That should take care of the cover pretty nicely. And this is the main circuit board on this one. The, the fader board, this is the cross fader. The microphone function switch that uh, switches between uh, normal, that is uh, a microphone input uh, mixed into the some without uh, attenuating all the remaining signals. The standby is the microphone off, just in case you need to mute it quickly and talk over and fades uh, all the all the line and funnel inputs. Uh, leaving the microphone input uh, louder than the rest. This is the equalizer circuit board. The output lever meters. And what do we have on the main spurt? Just a power cord, uh, a fuse socket, a switch. So Replacing the cord, it's gonna be quite easy. <coughs> Is it the most hated tool on this channel? If it does the job, uh, seems like this one won't. <laughs> Needs to get something more agile. This one should do the job pretty fine. And the grommet is out.
There's a capacitor or a metal oxide fire star. Probably a capacitor on the main switch. And uh, this is one of the mods that I did on the mixer. It's a 150 ohm resistor between the signal ground um, and the chassis. It's uh, virtually a short circuit for the for the audio signals, but uh, pretty high impedance. Uh, in case I have a ground loop in the in the system, that should prevent uh, inducing uh, the mains hum in the circuit uh, from the from the ground loop. I uh, I started uh, practicing this this kind of modification. Uh, in my uh, audio devices and it does the, does the job uh, pretty well and the old cable is out time for the new one let's just strip it a little bit longer Zoom on in, zoom on in. That's gonna do the job pretty nicely, I think. Now, let's do it a little bit more. Let's put on the grommet and this is gonna be the difficult part. In order to put the cable in, I... Oh, f for crying out loud. I damaged the grommet. Even though one of the, the plastic parts is missing, I'm still gonna try and put this uh, back into the enclosure. If I had a, a spare, I would replace it, but but I don't, and it's Christmas. I need to get the unit up and running again. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be slightly more challenging than I thought. Come on, for crying out loud, Carrie, you can do better than that. Yeah, guess it's good enough. I can always try to find the missing part and put it in here maybe use some hot snot to hold the thing together it 
Gotcha, you pesky little bugger. You go right back in. No excuses for this one. No excuses. Pesky little bugger. They tell you that resistance is futile? What did you learn from throughout your life? Ain't as easy as I thought. Taking it out and putting it together and back in again. Now let's try again. There. See? This thing ain't gonna fall apart. Time to connect the fuse and the switch. Cleaning the soldering lugs so that I can put the cable through them. Every time I've got a log, I wrap the cable around. And that's, uh, that's also the assembly technique from the old times.
Gotta clean it some more, like... A little bit trickier than I thought. Keep them nice and tidy. And there! That's it! Now the ground connection. I'll leave the ground wire intentionally longer than, than the rest in case the cable gets pulled out uh, of the enclosure and uh, the connections get broken. It's the live and neutral that uh, get broken first. And the ground will stay connected, providing safety for the operator of the mixer. That's how you do it. It's done. And the cover goes back on the mixer.
And it is done. Try to switch it on. That's it. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Happy holidays, people. See you on the stream. Bye.